Well, all right, we're over here in uh, chapter section 4-4, complex numbers, or imaginary numbers. And so all this time, we've been talking about how that we can't take the square root of a negative number. But now we're going to talk about how we can, and that's through the use of imaginary numbers. So on page 246 in your textbook, uh, you've got example one here, which says square roots of negative numbers. And we're going to do a couple of these just for fun. Well, not just for fun, but whatever. So here in, ex uh, guided, in example one, guided practice uh, 1A, we're asked to simplify the square root of negative 18. Now, so as I'm looking at this, obviously I've got a negative number, and I want to break this uh, square root of negative 18 into comp what I'm going to call component parts. And so the first thing I see is I've got um, the square root of negative 1, which is i, all right, and then I've got 18. So that takes care of the, the square root of negative 1 takes care of the negative part, which is going to be I. And then I'm looking at 18. And so what are the multiples of 18 where I might find a perfect square? Well, 9 times 2. So then that would be the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. All right, so if I take the square root of negative 1 and define it as I, and then the square root of 9, well, the square root of 9 is 3. And I can't really do much with the square root of 2. And so then I would write this in this final form. 3i equals, I mean, times the square root of 2. So we have simplified here the square root of negative 18 down to 3i square root of 2. Now let's look at another one. This is guided practice 1b, and we're asked to simplify the square root of negative 125. Well, I'm going to break it down into its parts. So first I've got the square root of 1. Now, 125, square root of negative 1, excuse me. Square root of negative 1, 125. Well, one, let's see, 125, I'm looking for perfect squares. Uh, 5 times 5 is 25. Well, 25 is a perfect square. And then times 5 again would be 125. So then I can say that this is the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 25 times the square root of 5. And then I can simply write this then as 5i square root of 5. All right, there we go. Not too bad, is it? It'll get worse. 